Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you the Manchester United versus QPR. My match thoughts on it. 4-0, what a result, what a way to kickstart the Van Gaal era since a lot of our signings have finally made their debuts or have been playing together. We haven't just got one of our signings playing, we started four and two were on the bench. So our lineup was in a 4 and 2 and 2 with two centre mids that were allowed to go out wide. So we had David De Gea in net, obviously. We had Raphael playing his first game of the season out on right back. Then we had Evans and Blackett in centre back position because obviously uh, Phil Jones got injured for England. Then we had Rojo making his debut on the left. We had Daily Blind making his debut in CDM. Then we had Herrera and Di Maria who was playing as a left-sided centre mid, Herrera on the right. And then we had Juan Mata in that number 10 role with Robin Van Persie and Wayne Rooney up front. We had Falcao on the bench because he's only played around 13 minutes of football for Colombia against Brazil in the last month, I believe. So we didn't want to, you know, power him out kind of get him injured and all that shit so we didn't play him we he was subbed on later but yeah we started the game off some really slick passing we we're doing really really well but for the first 20 minutes not a lot happened then we got a free kick around 40 yards out and Di Maria whipped it in it went past everyone and went into the bottom left I was so happy when that happened and then um Di Maria again he was man of the match and he completely deserved it he ran past about three or four players manages to find a nice pass to Rooney Rooney shoots it's deflected it comes back out to Rooney he passes it to Ander Herrera who hits it first time from the uh, edge of the box and then it goes into the bottom left hand side of the goal really really well worked goal there and then later on some great passing I think Di Maria to Herrera Herrera to Mata Mata back to Herrera Herrera down to Rooney and Rooney slotted it into the left. Some really, really nice play. And that was 3-0 before half time. And El Tiger hadn't even been released yet. So we started the second half. And um, again, we had an opportunity. Uh, Mata just couldn't get his um, shot kind of with enough power. And uh, Rooney kind of hit a deflection. And uh, um, the keeper easily saved. But then after that, Di Maria with a lovely pass into Mata, who was in so much space. And he smashes it in to make it 4-0. And then we subbed on Falcao, and uh, the, the fans were absolutely ridiculous for the entire game. Such a good atmosphere. You could hear it. It was ridiculous. And the ovation that Falcao got was unbelievable when he uh, came on and when Di Maria was subbed off, because uh, I think he got a little bit more cramp and Yanazai came on. But not a lot was created afterwards. I mean, there was a, a shot from Daily Blind, well saved, and um, Falcao is only shot. Rob Green saved really, really well from the Daily Blind shot. It came out and Falcao shot, but the keeper did save. So it was no debut goal for Falcao this time. But Di Maria, what an Old Trafford debut he had. Honestly, this is more like the United we used to sing. Obviously, it's only QPR, so we've got harder games to prove ourselves. But we had to make a point and we've certainly done it. We've won 4-0. Finally, a good result. Finally, our signings get in there. Luke Shaw is still to come back as well. So maybe we'll switch it up and maybe Evans could go off and Black it goes on the right alongside Rojo and then Shaw plays as left back. But, you know, we've got a lot more options now. Nearly everyone's fit. So I cannot wait for more games of this calibre. Hopefully we can get some more big wins starting off with Leicester away. Well, not starting off, but continuing with Leicester away next week. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on the match. And yeah, peace.